And today, Oregon OSHA now responding to a protest that happened in front of one of its employees' homes in response to some recent closures. So our Liz Birch spoke with the protest organizers and the police as well. Liz, how many people showed up at that person's house to protest? I asked the police chief that question and he said it was about 75 people. He says, however, there were no arrests made and they were peaceful. But OSHA says just because what happened was legal doesn't make it appropriate. A lot of businesses were already didn't even make it through the first lockdown and they did not reopen ever. Joey Gibson helped organize this weekend's protest. He says they went to the house of the OSHA employee who helped hand out a total of $90,000 in citations to local gym courthouse fitness. OSHA says the gym was fined for staying open despite the governor's executive order. We went down there basically asking him to stand with the people um, because if people like him continue to do uh, just their job, then um, this economy is going to be absolutely destroyed. Gibson says he hoped the employee heard their message. He did not come out and talk to us. Um, you know, whatever, that's his right. We were out on public property. We just really wanted him to hear our voice. In a statement to Coin6 News, OSHA said, quote, Oregon OSHA worked with the affected enforcement officer over the holiday weekend to minimize to the degree possible the disruption to him and his family, particularly his young child. We ensured the local police were aware and monitored the activity to be sure his property was not entered or damaged. Such events are rare and they should remain so. Targeting individual staff at their personal homes for protest activities may be legal, but that does not make it appropriate, end quote. You can read that full statement on our website. We did reach out to the gym as well. We'll let you know if we hear back. Live in Silverton tonight, Liz Birch, Coin6 News.